I have finished sewing the five books. I've let them sit overnight between these boards and the clamp. Next, I'll show you how I will apply adhesive and line the spines with PVA and paper to the group of books. I have five books clamped ready to apply a paper liner to the spine. I've placed thin blocks between them so that I have a bit of space. You can use cardboard or any type of material. The goal is to just keep the spine away from touching each other. I'll start by putting adhesive where the thread was tied off. I want the thread to rest between the signatures. Since the paper I use for this book is thicker drawing paper, I have small spaces between the signatures where the thread can nest. I'm careful not to go over the top or the head of the book as well as the base. I like to start by putting the adhesive right on the end of the thread that's been cut off. And my goal is just to bury it or nest it between the signatures. I'm going to go ahead and apply adhesive to all five books. So I'll just move from one to the next. I'm just going to check back over all five of them. I'm not, I don't really need to apply a second coat. I just want to make sure that there are any gaps left over. I fill them. I'm going to let that sit for just a few minutes and then I'm going to apply the paper liner. I have a piece of Japanese tissue. It's not it's not an ultra white weight, but it's it's not thick either, so it's somewhere in between. I've cut it equal to the size of the head and the foot of the book. It's maybe a little bit short. And I'm going to align it with the edge of the spine and make sure it's even on the on the foot and the head of the book. I'm checking to make sure that the adhesive was not completely dry. As I go down, if that's dry, I, I, I started on this one so that it would be on camera. But this was the first one, so this one is the driest. I should have started here, but for the camera, I'm, I'm going to start up here. And if these are dry when I put them on, then I will add a little bit of fresh adhesive and I am adding adhesive here because I'm going to turn this over and align the fold with this other edge of the spine and I will Crease that. I'm taking my finger. This paper is on the fragile side. I could use a, a Teflon folder or a bone folder, but my finger helps mold the paper into the ridges of the spine. You'll also notice that there, it's pretty flat. I mean, it's not perfectly flat, but since I'm using a thinner thread and the chain has tightened itself into the, into the lines that were sawn, it, it reduces the bumpiness of the spine as well. I'm now going to fold this one, and then I'll just get a sharp... I can take a sharp knife like this. 
and then cut it off. This one I'll try to start. Uh, let's see if I can start it on this way so that maybe it, it'll look different on the camera. And then I'll fold that and you can see that I'm just getting the fold to align with the spine. I'll bring this over. I'll crease it so that I can cut it. Align that with the other side of the spine. Oops, you see that? And the final one. Pat this down. And crease that. Back fold it. There we are. I'll let that sit for about an hour. So it's dry. I can take my finger or bone folder and just make sure that all of the, the spine liners are pasted down uniformly. Remove it from the clamp. The spine liner is dry. And now we're going to take and trim, trim the foredge, the head, and the foot.